I've got a little bit of the sniffles and a bit of a scratchy throat today, but that is not going to prevent me from showing up here this week, as always, to make sure that I create a valuable little video for you. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance if there's going to be some hacking coughing that might happen, but I'll try to edit it out and I've got my honey tea ready just in case that happens. Uh, I've just recently landed in San Pancho, Mexico, also called San Francisco, Mexico, by the way. If Gets a bit confusing with the San Fran in the States, hence why it's called San Pancho to the locals here. Um, and as you can see, it's some really beautiful picturesque beaches and the smallest little kitschiest town you can be based out of. And I'm so lucky to be here for the next six weeks. And I'm sure um, you'll get a little tired of me maybe posting a couple of videos on my social channels on um, what great life uh, San Pancho has sort of provided for me in the last week. So it's made getting sick. Uh, a little bit nicer to deal with being here uh, and getting the home cooked meals. Um, but I also want to jump in here uh, today to really continue a conversation around our theme of reinvention this month. Now, uh, last week I published a brand new video uh, all about answering a question a community member sent over to me, uh, which is a question about how we can deal with reinvention in our midlife and in our mid career. Now, if you haven't watched that video yet, it is a goodie. Lots of people have emailed me to say this is one of their favorite videos this year. Um, so make sure to head on to the pop up card or the link below. Uh, that I've included so that you can take a watch, uh, especially if you are in midlife and mid-career, what are some of the key things that you should be focusing on instead of getting distracted of comparing yourself to the younger generation of change uh, that are going through change uh, and how to focus on what you come with and how your experience can actually help you um, stand out from anyone else and stop comparing yourself in order to uh, reinvent yourself in a way that you want to do it in the life stage that you're in. I've been getting a lot of um, questions, you know, about reinvention and uh, people are getting pretty excited to learn about uh, reinvention in my upcoming webinar. Actually, if you're watching this when it goes live today, uh, the webinar is actually tomorrow. Um, and if you're watching this later, you can probably click on the same link and it'll be able to lead you to a replay. Uh, and you can click on the link to register for free to join me on uh, how you can learn the five step framework that I've designed for my clients uh, and you can implement in your life um, to go through reinvention. Uh, it's called Reinvent Yourself, how to live out your version of your meaningful career and your life. Um, and this is something that when you register for free, um, you can attend um, this learning lesson that I'll be facilitating and really learn how to navigate change in a way that doesn't make you self-sabotage yourself towards change. Uh, and it also um, allows you to really think about what is meaningful for you to pursue going forward and how to actually utilize change uh, in order for you to make conscious decisions that's going to affect the reality of your future vision of your life, even if you don't know what that might look like at the moment. Now, some of my hardest decisions in my own personal life uh, has involved in, you know, it has, has involved me figuring out when to persevere and keep going at something um, and also when to know when to let go of certain things and let certain things just die. Uh, that's happened to me, you know, years ago, about seven years ago now when I, um, you know, reinvention to me meant letting go of a job that no longer fulfilled me, which is really hard because in, on paper, everything looked like it should be the thing I should be deciding on. I was getting partnership. I was the youngest person to be involved in that department. It was kind of the thing I've been working up the corporate ladder for, and somehow something didn't feel right. And it was a moment of pause that I'm hoping to guide you on tomorrow, just like that as well for you, uh, that might require you to think beyond just what looks good on paper or what looks good on what we've been taught uh, is what we need in our lives. And it really tried to evaluate um, how that really aligns and coincides with the vision we want for our lives, but also um, if it's going to cause us unfulfillment or dissatisfaction, do we remain at that feeling for the sacrifice of more money or more opportunities? And I know as a go-getter, that was something um, hard for me to decide on, you know, um, when I quit my job and, and, and turned down a partnership opportunity uh, in a six-figure organization. Um, it also meant, you know, reinvention seven years ago to me, it also meant to experiment and explore, you know, to moving to a place like Bali uh, and seeing what it felt like to immerse myself into a different way of living and a different lifestyle environment. Uh, and that has completely changed 
um, how I live my life, what I find important to me. And, um, you know, I, I have to say, uh, someone who used to have anxiety, chronic anxiety, and sometimes I still do, but is really have, have lessened from the, the lifestyle choices that I've made seven years ago that truly affects how my life operates today. And then these days as a business owner, reinvention could mean that I put a project that I've been working really hard on that I've been looking to launch and I put that to bed because it no longer serves my goals for my business. And that's hard as well when you have passion projects and things that you feel personally rejected on if you were failing at something, right? Or something wasn't working anymore and reinvention can come in those times as well. Uh, Or it could mean taking a chance on something, uh, even though I feel like an imposter and I've never done that before. So as you can see, reinvention comes in so many Um, versions of situation in our lives. And to be honest, reinvention is very necessary in all stages of our lives. When we are constantly changing, we're constantly wanting and desiring different things to help ourselves grow into the humans that we want to become. Uh, So we have to embrace the art of reinvention Uh, more than ever in order to achieve our best potential and to not avoid discomfort in order to have a better life, right? Some reinventions, um, you know, there's sort of three types of reinventions you might be looking at. Like I've got people asking, when is it time for me to have a reinvention? What do I know is the right time? Uh, And there's sort of three common sort of circumstances, if you will, that will uh, trigger or instigate the need for reinvention. Maybe some of this might resonate with you with you and let me know underneath the comments if this does, okay? And which one which one resonates with you the most. The first one is uh, reinventions that are born from a traumatic response. And what this might be an example of is, for example, if you're fired from your job, you're laid off suddenly, uh, or maybe your spouse leaves you. There's a sense of force to make you change. And that could be that crossroad uh, moment that is really primed for reinvention. Sometimes through trauma and pain is when we can rebirth uh, and use that opportunity to go, God, this sucks and it's painful, but I'm going to use this pain to help myself figure out what, what the hell is the next chapter for me. Okay. That definitely happened to me seven years ago during a burnout and a health crisis that forced me to have a reinvention because to be honest, I wasn't going to do it. I was kind of self-punishing myself a lot those days. So that needed to happen for me to have a reinvention. Anyone else agree? Let me know below in the comments. Um, A second form of reinvention can be born from active seeking. Some of us are huge self-development fanatics. We are always high achievers and we want to live our best life. Uh, And so an example of an active seeking, um, you know, trigger for reinvention could be that you actually, you know, uh, want to start a business or you want to learn something new uh, and you find yourself constantly being inspired or, you know, you feel like there's a push inside of you, a self-motivation, intrinsic motivation that you want to start something new. You want to be in charge of creating something interesting, right? And reinvention is great here too, because you're already telling yourself, you already have all the feelings and all the energetic force to make big changes. And the key here is to take control of that force. Don't let that slip away and trust your instinct, trust your inspiration. It doesn't, you know, enthusiasm, I always say has an expiry date, which means that if you don't act on your enthusiasm, if the minute you feel inspired and enthusiastic about something and you decide to just wait on it or just go, oh, that's nice, but you know, I'm not going to do anything about it. That sort of feeling leaves you, you know? And so that sense of capitalizing on the moment is super important for reinvention. And then lastly, some reinventions are born from lessons learned. If you are people, uh, someone that's quite reflective, uh, you're someone that is an analyst, uh, something happens to you, you take a bit of time to take a pause and think about what have you learned from there and how can that prompt a positive reinvention to your next chapter or what's next in your life. Right? Lessons learned uh, kind of instigation of reinvention. So this could be an, an example, like if you experienced uh, failure, right? Or you experience a burnout uh, by doing something a certain way or gaining success a certain way. And now that learning lesson has prompted you to redefine your version of success so that you know, you don't want to do this again. You don't want to have to go through this emotional turmoil again. And you have learned what it is that you need to learn in order to um, know what's right for you rather than what other people expect of you, for example. And you're using those lessons learned to reinvent yourself. So those are three of some potential uh, instigations, right? Or, uh, you know, things that could instigate change and uh, reinvention in your life. And 
Again, if any of those resonated with you, comment below and let me know a bit about your story. I've certainly uh, experienced all three. Uh, and so um, when you know, you're thinking, when is it time for me to reinvent myself? You know, should I be waiting till I have more time or when the kids leave the house or when I get my next promotion or when I pay off my mortgage or whatever, you know, obstacles that you think or perceive are in the way. I want to tell you today that the moment you feel that a change is necessary, however small or however big you've experienced it, trust that feeling and let it take you somewhere. Let it take you to the next chapter of your life. So, um, the, the thing that we have to remember is that we have to choose reinvention. It just doesn't happen to us and it forces us all the time. It doesn't always happen that way. So you don't want to wait for your future to find you. You want to be proactive in creating that uh, the major shift that's needed in your life and choose to reach your potential based on your own design and your deepest uh, desires for what you want in your life. So if you would love some guidance on this, um, I would love for you to join me tomorrow. And again, if you're watching me on a later date here, you can still join the same link, screwthecubicle.com forward slash reinvent or any of the links popping up right now or below this video, you can find them. Uh, and you can join me for a live webinar where I'm going to go through and guide you through the framework of reinvention, how to stop getting in your own way, how to recognize the signs for change and how to make uh, change sustainable for you without feeling uh, like you're burning out or overwhelmed or anxious around it all. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me today. And I'm so shocked that I didn't even have a coughing fit because that's all I did this morning. So, um, I'm glad I don't have to edit this video any longer than I have to. So, um, thank you again for your company and for your constant, um, commitment to this channel. Um, I'm always looking to grow this channel, so please be sure to share it. If you know someone who would benefit from watching these weekly videos that I produce every week. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And so you'll be in the know for every new video and every new training that I will be producing um, now and forever. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.